So, you want to understand how generators traditionally work. Not a problem. Now, Adobe defines a generator as basically just something that generates a mask based on your model's topology. For this tutorial, we will specifically be looking at the Edgeware generator. So, to start, just have your base material, and then drag the material that you want to represent the wear and tear along the edges. I'm just going to pick Iron Galvanized, and there's a bunch of settings down here that you can play with, but the defaults are usually more than fine. From here, right-click and make a black mask. Then, right-click the mask and add a generator. Then click down here and pick what you need. I'm looking for metal edgeware, so that's what I'm gonna pick. And you're done. Now, as usual, every single generator will give you different options that you can mess with. For metal edgeware specifically, it targets the mask around the sharp edges of your model. You can randomize the wear and tear by clicking the seed, invert the entire effect here, change the amount of wear with this. If you want the contrast to be sharp, move this up, otherwise move it down. If you get weird looking seams, try changing this to tri planner. If you want more grunge, increase this. Scale change changes the size of the entire map. The lower this value, the smoother the edges will look. If you want your AO map to affect the generator mask, you can increase this. And I'm not entirely sure what curvature weight does, but I think it means the sharper the edge, the more wear and tear will be drawn. But feel free to correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of other cool generators I recommend you try, like dirt, dripping rust, curvature, inflate shrink wrap, fiberglass, and UV checker. And if you ever want to see what a mask or generator is doing, just hold down alt and left click the mask, and you will see everything under the hood. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.